technically i used to tell when you go to a temple you can see at the counter or just outside the gate some beggars who will ask you they are also called amma either you are a gent or a lady what they call is generally amma and that is for bhiksha we call it dharmam no it's also dharma and dharmam we understand differently this is dharma you want he ask for money we generally pay some 50 paise or 1 rupee depends on how much you have or if you have more also depends on what is your mind that is how you will pay and you get inside the temple pray after that you go out while going out again the beggar again repeats the same thing amma and looks at you again ask for some money and you look at the beggar and say that i have paid you while going and why you are asking me now generally most of the people must have asked this question now let us look at this carefully we remember the beggar for the 50 paise or 1 rupee or 10 rupees but the beggar does not remember you for the money which you have paid who is the real beggar in this world <laughs> we are the real beggars when you give never account it in your book the message is this when you give as soon as you give you forget about what you have given all of us are true selfish to the true heart when we give something we expect something people are even reluctant to smile at somebody because if you smile it takes an advantage tomorrow i come back to you, you know me no so please help me that is the way the world has become such and people don't even smile at people egoistic you are wasting your energy yesterday also i was telling somewhere if you want to become serious half of your life force energy is wasted and therefore 120 years of life span will come down 80 70 as long as you become serious your ego increases then your life span reduces if you become happier smile at everybody and then be cheerful in you and your energy increases therefore your life span increases that is the only way to live longer